Na mtazamaji sasa tukianza ama tukingonanga kwenye taarifa hizi tuanze na hili ambapo wakilishi wa Mochari nchini wanatoa taarifa kuhusu matamshi ya Inspector Generali wa Polisi uh, kuhusiana na ku, kukodishwa kwa maiti wakati wa maandamano ya upinzani. Tukuke huko moja kwa moja tusikilizie yanayojiri. Under the Mongozo God of Governance, you are expected to have clear responsibilities, especially by separating your roles as board members and the roles of the managers of the two municipalities. I expect separation of roles. I don't expect board members to be involved in procurement matters. I don't expect board members to be involved in the day-to-day -day running of the municipalities. That is the work of the managers. And therefore, we need to ensure that all the issues which are administrative in nature are left for the managers. We don't want to have conflicts in the operations between the boards and the managers. I also expect you to play a key role in supporting the county to achieve its goals. I expect to infuse you to infuse good governance, efficiency, transparency, accountability in the discharge of your mandate. To do this, you need to appraise yourselves with my development priorities as given in our county integrated development plan for 2023-2027 and my six pillars of our development agenda. We condemn the statement made by the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jafet Kome, because we believe that no mortuary technician in the Kenya of today can even attempt to do such a thing. The office of the Inspector General is such a respected office to even attempt to lower itself to such an imaginable actions. We work, with the, we work very closely with the police service in our day-to-day -day operations and believe that the position we are taking is very well known to the Inspector General of Police. The purpose of this press release, therefore, is to demand the Inspector General of Police to furnish both Kenya Health Professional Oversight Authority and the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board the two registering and regulating and licensing bodies for mortuary technicians and the mortuary facilities, respectively, the particulars of those implicated so that they can be investigated and if found culpable, necessary disciplinary actions be taken against them. Failure to do so, the Inspector General of Police should withdraw his remarks against the facilities as he put it and also against the mortuary practitioners, as he put it as well. Mortuary practitioners serve all Kenyans without caring about their tribe, race, class, political alignment, or religion. It is therefore very unfair for the Inspector General of Police to try and tag our profession along or into matters that we are less concerned with. This statement is signed for and on behalf of the National Executive Committee for the Mochari Technicians, uh, Mochari and Allied Professional Association of Kenya by the National Chair, Elkana Mwinami, National Secretary, Felix Odiambo, and the National Treasurer, Mr. Alois Momanyi Nyakweba. Thank you. Further to this statement, we want to also reiterate that the more the reason why we came out is because the members of the society entrust us with their loved ones once they pass on. It is also very disturbing when such news goes out because it dents our credibility to the society. So the Inspector General has all the machinery to know who perpetrated such a heinous act. All he needs to do is to name the person, name the facility, so that investigations can be done so that if such an event occurred, necessary disciplinary actions should be taken against such a facility or such individuals. Blanketly condemning mortuary practitioners is very unfair and ill-advised. 
we hope that this message reaches the inspector general and he also clears the air around this issue so that our image to the society remains as intact as it is. We've worked so hard to clean this industry and such a reckless statement can return us back to the old days. We don't wish to go there. We are professionals. We work in accordance to the ethics that are laid out. We work in accordance to policies, rules and regulations of facilities. And such a thing cannot be allowed to take place. And if it takes place, there are measures that are supposed to be taken and not to condemn the entire industry in totality. Thank you. Maybe so, Alicia. Come to the journey, 